I have just taken delivery of some beautiful fresh Pool Harbour ragworms this morning and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do a little demonstration. Summertime is here, we get a lot of people coming in buying their ragworms and they always ask sort of how to keep it and that sort of thing. And everybody thinks you want to keep it as cold as you possibly can. They put it on ice packs, they put it in the same bag or bucket as their frozen baits. It's actually not a particularly good idea. So I'm going to demonstrate this. I'm going to take two handfuls of ragworms out. I'm going to wrap one up and put it with a frozen pack of squid. And the other one, I'm just going to leave out. I'm not even going to put it in the fridge. It's pretty warm today. So it'll be an interesting little demonstration to see which one looks better after a couple of hours. Is it going to be the one with the frozen pack or the one just left out to go warm? So I don't get accused of cheating, and you guys assuming that I've come up with some manky old wrapper ragworm already, I've brought an independent adjudicator along to uh, make sure things are above board. Hello everyone. It's Wayne Han, the short hunter. Hello. <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm very good. I think that was seamless. Yes. Right. right. Do you like our idea this morning? Yeah, it's great. Um, um, I think a lot of people make the mistake of Squid, frozen stuff, in together, in a cool bag, things like that. Yeah, sure. In the car, go off fishing, and then by the time they got fishing, the ragworms a bit... We all learn from doing things wrong. Mm. We have. This is why we know how to do this. Absolutely, yes. Um, so if we can show you the wrong way, which is going to cost you money straight off... Are you uh, paying for this? Mm. Right, right, go on. Grab me a little handful of ragworms. Okay. You can be my... Uh... These are definitely alive and kicking. They're beautiful. Fresh in from pool. They're beautiful. That's that one. I'll wrap that one up. Show off my wrapping skills. They call me Snoop the Faggy Bag. Nice. No one's ever called me that bag. <laughs> no, you can work in a fish and chip shop if it all goes wrong. I get, yeah, people say that to me also. There you go. Thank you very much. Right, two beautiful wraps of ragworm. Alive and kicking and fresh. I've got a good common garden varietal pack of squid straight from the freezer. Ragworm in the bucket. That can just live like that for the next couple of hours. And that's my wrap that I'm just going to leave out. I'm not even going to put it in the fridge. There we go. So we're going to see, we're going to come back in a couple of hours time. We're going to unwrap both of those wraps and see which one looks the best. Three hours later. Right, the time has, time's flown. It's quarter past 12. So yeah. they were in there for three and a bit hours. My math is no good. Anyway, yeah. right. So this is the wrap that has just been left as it was. Um, no ice pack. Look at that. Absolutely perfect still and the that's pretty good because you had it at the back of the shop where you got all the fridges just so people know at home it's boiling hot it's out boiling there. hot out there <laughs> and they're absolutely fine um, that's had the squid which is now defrosted um, in the bucket Let's you can see. already see oh yeah look, look at, at that. that look at that before i've even opened oh god oh there look at that. that they are literally ruined get in on that kind of they're all stretched. So they're not, they're not, I mean, they are no, still that, usable, though. but it's, yeah. Look at the difference. It's split and broken. Look at the difference. You can eat, you can see the difference. That's unbelievable, because that's what a lot of people would do. Yeah. Yep, so many people this time of year wrap up their worms, stick it on an ice pack or something, and then wonder why that's it's a, all split that's and bled out. On. Yeah. But look at them, they're just all strung out. And he's fresh in this And morning. that was straight out the same tray. Yeah, I know, yeah. There you go. Demonstration, point proved. Don't put ice on your worms. No. You're right now on the front. Hey! Um, actually, I don't know. Yeah, switch off. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. What is this video going to be? Um, oh, do you know, opening isn't opening line the hardest thing of any video. <laughs> no, I can't think of you. <laughs> Start with good morning. <laughs> it's Wayne Han from YouTube. Well, Good morning, Mr. Hand. YouTube. <laughs> well, I uh, don't know. Yeah. <laughs> to there? Yeah. We've not really... We haven't rehearsed this. No, we... can you tell? <laughs> 8.57, let's call it 9 o'clock. So let's come back to these at 12. Should we give them two hours? Yeah. One can out of the fridge, me, one on a... F yes. You said it's 8 o'clock. We're going to give it two hours, come back at 12. You're not very good at counting. 8.57, I said... No, did I say 8 o'clock? Yeah, but then oh. even at 9, two hours is 11, not 12. <laughs> oh, it is, yeah! <laughs> And the phone's ringing. Oh, no, it's got to I'll have to do this again. Hang on. Now I'll get up from here. <laughs> oh, that'd be brilliant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's going to be amazing. Yeah. Oh, now this is really yeah. awkward. No, it's dodgy. Boss lady. Hi. We're filming. Well, we're trying to. What are you filming? 
Um, well, the last scene was a bit dodgy. I was going to jump up, right? <laughs> so he was down here. And then, and then he came in the shop in. and I'm like this. I, like that, I'm like, we got it on camera. I was like, oh yeah, we are actually filming. <laughs> like, I don't know. No, no, I, like, I do like that as an idea. Okay, don't yeah. Don't be shy. Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. 